Well, how do there, chums? I'm inside of my legacy save, and I'm going to be running over and hitting up this console over here and starting the new Adrift Expedizione. Now, I'm hoping to complete this in phases and do videos for each of the phases. So here we go. Let's uh, select equipment that we can take into us, shall we? Okay. Technology. All right, well, I've got a couple of modules. I mean, it's not a great deal of modules. I haven't gone and farmed these beforehand. Just grabbed them. Okay, righto. And what else can I take in? Maybe a few things to sell for... Well, I've taken a couple of wiring looms. Saves me a bit of cash, not much. Will it? But uh, let's have a look what else we can take in. Uh, I take in a load of frigate fuel, just in case we get a frigate fleet inside of this expedition. Might as well. I'll take a bone. <laughs> I can sell that. Okay, what else can I sell? Um, I haven't got anything that's... Oh, okay. I can get that. Fusion accelerant. That's, that's worth a lot of units. There we go. What else could I have in here? Mm, I don't think I'm going to take in the frigate modules. Or well, I could do. Yeah, I'll take in some. Might be able to upgrade a freighter inside of this. Okay. Uh, what else can I grab? Bum, 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 bum. Well, I've got, I've got some, I think I've got more warp cells than that. I've got six warp cells there. I think I've got t a stack of ten. There we go. A stack of ten. Right. I'll just sort out what I'm going to take. Okay, chums. Well, I think I've got everything that I need right there. I mean, it's it's not the best start. I haven't I haven't gone to town on this, but there we go. Let's start expedition. Chicka boom, and accept. Okay. <laughs> and we're in. Here we go. Initialize expedition. Let's hit that one up, then, people. I guess. Ooh. Okay. I think I'm going to be turning off the. Uh, the multiplayer aspect, I think. As soon as I get the option to. That is a cool nebula. Alright, cool. So like we've got a little bit of shieldage in. Wow. I'm liking all these echoes and these sounds. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Jetpack online. Lovely. Can move around. Oh, I didn't bring no movement modules with me though. Pretty nice rifle. What the fudge is that noise? Okay, cool. Looks like I'm a gnarly little traveller. Okay, now it says that these worlds are more dangerous. I'm wondering whether the worms can actually do us damage, but I don't know. Coolio, got ourselves a lot of texty stuff to read there. Sweet. Okay, locate your starship. Well, let's do that then. And you know what? I will be turning off my multiplayer options for this one. Boom. Yeah, definitely turn off the old um, multiplayer. There we go. And can join my game. I'll have that as invite only, please. Okay, cool. Uh, locate starship this way. Let's hope that it's that new awesome starship. Right, we know what people. I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. Otherwise, you'll just see me when I get to my starship. Well, you know all that stuff that I just carefully picticated to take on this expedition with me. <laughs> God, these worms sound freaking horrific now. Well, it doesn't actually appear until you find the Nexus. And if I remember reading in the patch notes, it says that the Nexus is silent. So I don't think we're going to be able to use all that stuff that I just stuck inside of my um, slottage. Um, so that was a little bit of a weird one. Okay, anyway, let's, um, I'm just grabbing a load of resources on my way to my ship because I know that I'm going to have to repair -cate it. So just grabbing as much stuff as I can on the way there, people. Wow, this planet sounds terrifying. Okay. Let's just get to the ship, shall we? Oh, it looks like there's a load of hundred tendrils here. Like, you know, the baby worm babies. I think they're going to pop out and get me if I'm not careful, people. And I'm, I'm massively underpowered. If those horrors jump out the ground, I'm done for. I'm going to give it a bit of a wide berth. I'm not going to mess with that for now. Go on here. And we're nearly at my ship. I'm just going to grab some more ferrite dust. 
getting oxygen as well, carbon. Good thing is, it's got all the base stuff in the rocks and I'm blasting. Holy mackerel. Is there any, um, oh, we might come in here quickly and grab some cobalt as well. Let's start scanning these. Let's get some cobalt. Yes, getting cobalt from there. Or should. Right, I'll spend a bit of time just mining some cobalt, people. And then hopefully I'll be back at my ship. Look okay, at chums. Well, I've, I've reached the ship. And it doesn't look like the ship in the old patch notes. It looks like they've given me a shuttle. <laughs> Great fun. Okay, right. We've got this anyway. Hit that up. That'll give me some navigational data. Lovely. And let's head on over to the old ship. There we go. Well, that's a disappointment, isn't it? <laughs> oh, great. Okay, well, it's the obvious stuff, fixing things. Deuterium magnetized ferrite. Okay. Cool. Hermetic seal, metal plating. Okay, lovely jubbly. Right out. Cool. Great little save. And I guess I'm going to be fixing the ship in a second. Oh, cool. The advanced mining laser. Sweet. Cool. Still got to get the items. The hermetic seal again. Copper. Okay. We'll get that in. But well away from getting that actually in. Go on. jumping out make a little save but yeah this is going to be a fun one okay install the advanced mining laser it's going to take me a while to get the parts for that have I got nah I haven't even got a portable refiner fun times okay right well um, I'd look into how I'd actually do this be right back with you people I've been blasting a lot of resources, so let's just dismantle as that. Let's see what we can do. So, hermetic seal, I need oxygen. So, I need to go hunt a load of oxygen down. The metal plating, I'm fairly sure I can do that. I'll, I'll get like four of them for now. Okay, so I've got to get oxygen. Uh, well, let's just check all the boxes that are lying around here anyway. So, let's go over to here. Let's see if we get any oxygen out of any of this stuff. If there is any stuff laying around. There isn't. Perfect. Right, well, we'll go inside this little um, building here. See if there's anything that I can harvest out of this building. Is there one of those whipping plants on the ceiling that's going to slap me in the face? I don't think so. So I think we're good. Right. Nothing in there. Something in here, though. Boom. Projectile ammo. Oh, we need level one pass for that. Might as well inspect the terminal. Oh, okay. Right, we've got to do a bit of math. So, seven, two, seven, two, eight. Seven's going that way. Seven's going on to there. So the seven would be in the second position. And three will rotate round. There we go. Sweet. Signal detected. We've located something. Could go and investigate that. Oh, it's on another blinking planet. Not going to be doing that until um, we fix the ship. There's not much in here. Aha! Now I can see a little bit of light. We've got condensed carbon. And some more condensed carbon. Let's do a scan. Let's see if we can spot any oxygen. Well, there's some oxygen. Well, there's some oxygen just there. Alright, so. Ah! Oh, we're getting very low on oxygen, aren't we? Hmm, that seems to be the biggest bug bind. Right, well, I'm just going to be travelling across this planet, trying to get a load of oxygen. There we are. 
Darn it. Um, it's okay. I don't want to hurt you guys. Don't hurt me. I just want this. Thank you. Okay. Some more oxygen over this way. Wow. Now, we do need to craft ourselves a load of last life support gel, really. So, to make life support gel, which is this stuff, we need to craft more. We need to make dehydrogen jelly, which is this stuff. Ow. And then to make it, we need carbon. And there's not a lot of plants on this planet, is there, really? Now, some of these rocks do give us oxygen. There is another one that gives us carbon. But you've just got to be lucky with the spot in the dang stuff. I mean, there's a load of carbon over here, but it's condensed carbon. Not quite what we're after. Right, well, I'll continue gathering oxygen, people. There must be an easy... Ooh, what's this? Ah. Can't scan him. Right, oxygen over this way. Right, it's going to just take me ages to collect enough oxygen for this, really. I was hoping to find hazardous plants, but there's not even that on these planets, is there? It really is barren. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll grab all this carbon as well. There you go. It's just a case of having to gather the resource, people, which hopefully you're going to be able to do without sort of, you know, too much of an issue. But you can see here how hard it is for me to find the oxygen required. It's not all that plentiful, is it? Now, if we was in the ship and it was night time, I might be able to find a massive great big patch of this stuff, but you can see here, it's just not plentiful. Okay, chums, now due to the amount of weird stuff going on here, I'm going to be turning these down as much as I possibly can to make this as easy for me as possible, people. Because this is... Uh, this is pretty challenging really there you go that's going to make it a little bit easier but my hazard protection was going down way quick before and the actual resource grind for this is insanely large because the oxygen you can see how far as part it's spaced it's, it's miles away anyway it's just a case of doing the resource grind on this one, and it's the oxygen that's the real time spender. And uh, that's proving pretty difficult on a planet with very few oxygen plants. Okay, people, well, I can make one hermetic seal. Not a problem. But um, now I need to get a shed load of copper. Have I got... Oh, it has got a tray manipulator in there. Can I find copper on this planet? There's a copper deposit right there. We head towards that. We go get some copper, people. That's our next step. Cool, yeah. Oh, here we go. Look at this. We found some navigational data it's out in the wild. I mean, is this going to upset sentinels, though? Hopefully not. Cool. Brilliant. Got a couple of navigational data. Hopefully that's going to come in handy later on. Look, there's hardly any oxygen on the way to the uh, copper deposit. Insane. Okay, right, there's some over here. But oxygen really isn't plentiful. Find them and walk in miles just to get a single oxygen plant. This is insane. Okay, we've got a copper deposit over here. Wow, if I could make myself a portable refiner, I might be able to duplicate the oxygen. Now, if I can work out how to do that, I will be sure to let you guys know, just in case that's an option for you. Right, we've arrived at Cated at the copper deposit. Let's get the terrain manipulator, make it nice and small. And here we go. I'm going to get all this out of the ground, and then I'll reconvene. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if we can now get this fixed Cated. Chicka-boom! And it's done. I guess installed my model laser. Let's see how we're getting on then. Cool. Oh, personal refiner Mark II plans. Okay. Let's get that installed then. The only thing is with this one is you can't really duplicate stuff with that until you get to the Nexus. Condensed carbon and oxygen again. 
Okay, right. So I guess we're just looking for more condensed carbon. There's condensed carbon over there. 190 odd use that way. And then after I got the condensed carbon, it's a case of getting more and more oxygen. Now there are some rocks that contain oxygen. Look, there's one right there. But you're only going to get one oxygen per rock. That's a lot of freaking rocks. Okay, here we go. Let's zap that. Condensed carbon. Lovely. Get a load of condensed carbon. Sweet. More condensed carbon over that way. I'm going to need oxygen. And I'm going to need a lot of it. There's some oxygen over there. There's some oxygen. Okay, right. We'll go this way then. Okay. I'll reconvene when I've got the oxygen. Found a deposit of cursed dust. I don't know whether I need it. Grabbing it. Because it's a rarity. Well, I would be if I've done enough of this stuff. There we go. Hmm, interesting. Oh, look, I just got lucky. I've never been excited to see oxygen in all my life. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's grab that. Boom. More oxygen. Heck yes. Three in a row. Lovely. Well, it looks like I can now install a Kate. That. Chikapow. Chikapow. Ha 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 ha. Done. Is that another badge completed? It is. Self-reliance. Very cool. Okay, well, I, I see what's going on here. I'm becoming an intrepid little explorer. That's what's going on here. I got some powerful life support upgrades. Brilliant. Can I just install those? Because uh, I've noticed that my life support is going down rather rapidly. So let's put that there. Let's see if we can juggle stuff around to give myself a little bit of a lift. Um... Not quite there yet, but uh, let's put that on there and put that on there. That's going to help with a little bit of boosted range. And we can stick that there as well. There we go. Okay, not the most ideal of layouts. It's a bit higgledy-piggledy. But that'd do. Okay, right. Now what? What's my next badge to do? Leave the planet. Oh, fudge. Okay. All right. Uh, right, so my starship, I need another hermetic seal and a metal plating. Those I think I can do. Deuterium. Okay, right. So hermetic seal. Can I make another hermetic seal? I can. Can I make another metal plating? I can. Brilliant, eh? Okay, so the deuterium. How do I make that again? Mm, I might have to look at the old recipe on my phone. Okay, well, this is a bit weird. Because it says deuterium is made using dehydrogen and one tritium. You only get tritium in space. I'm not going to find that on the planet, am I? Okay, well, let's head back to my ship anyway. And we'll repair as much as we can. And we can only but hope that the guide gives us some other way of making deuterium. Why is my ship so far away? Oh, it's not that far. All right, I'll see you back at my ship, people. Oh, look what I've spotted. A whole patch of oxygen. Holy awesomeness. I guess... These worms are pretty darn freaking epic. I'm not going to get bored of those, I don't think. And the noises they make are freaking insane. Here we go. Loads of oxygen for me. Nice. Grab all of this. Brilliant. We're in the money now. Might as well grab some more dehydrogen crystals while I'm seeing them on here. Okay, I'll see you back at my ship, people, okay? Well, something I haven't done is gone in these little caravans to see if there's anything free inside of them. Let's have a quick look-see, shall we? So we'll have a look in here first. Oh, we've got a little cube. Nice. Navigational data. Anything on the walls? No, nothing to really claim there. Oh, we've got some carbon out of there. Nice. Oh, hello. Fudging heck. He tried to bite me. Did you see that, people? He tried to freaking give me rabies. Oh, my days. They're right by my ship. How's that fair? Oh, fudging heck. Mate. You're dribbling all over my ship. Okay, right. Let's try and fix that at a distance. Okay, how about this? I can fix that. Right, I need to pin details on that one. Okay. So, it requires deuterium and magnetised ferrite. Okay, so they've changed the recipe. That's, that's kind of handy. Okay, so here we go. Going to here. Let's let's fuel it using some of that. And then what was it? Magnetized ferrite. 
and some deuterium, which is the blue stuff. My days, something's going on around me right now. Okay, well that's that's not quite working, is it? I did I did it right, right? Didn't I? Hold on, let's have let's have a look at that again. So I've pinned this. So create deuterium by processing dehydrogen with either tritium silicate powder. Oh, okay, silicate powder then. All right, fine. I don't know where I got magnetized ferrite from. I'm sure it said that a moment ago. Okay, well, I've got some of that silicate powder. There we go. There we are. It's on the bake, people. It's on the bake. Heck yes. We're getting there. That's going to take 30 odd seconds. I'm going to take shelter somewhere. Oh, hold on. There's a suspicious packet inside my ship. Oh, look at that. We've got an X-Class warp module. Um, right, okay. Well, it, I can't actually install it yet. Okay, install. Okay, maybe I can. But I haven't got a warp engine in there yet. Okay, it was going in there. Sweet. Okay, let's see if we can now replace, repair that. If I get the deuterium out of here. Might as well take my dehydrogen back. Thank you very much. Righto. And let's see if we can repair the spaceship. Chicka pow, chicka boom. Done. Its launch thrusters are on 50%. That should be enough to get us off the planet. If I can get to my ship without dying. Take to the skies. Go. Get out of here. Those worm babies were all over the ship, weren't they, people? Freaking heck. So, we've managed to get off the planet. That was fun. It actually was, actually. Discovered by Lions Drunk. What the fudge? We've left the planet. Sweet. Let's go claim that milestone. Supreme scanning system upgrade. Powerful launch thrusters upgrade. I guess. Okay. Well, let's, let's get this in then. Uh, stick that there. What the fudge is broken? Oh, there's loads of stuff broken inside of this. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Well, I can fix that one. What about that one? No. Loom damaged. What the fudge is that? Okay, fine. It's just broken tech, isn't it? Just threw me a bit. Right, let's get this installed then. Let's um, let's stick it there for a second. Let's move things around. Put that next to that. That'll give me a bit better on the old launch thrusters. Cool. Okay. Well, what's this then? Space station? We're going there, I think, people. Right. Visit the space station. We're up on a journey. Hold on, what was that text on there? That was pretty pretty unusual. Each system has a space station that serves as a trading hub. A place to buy upgrades and... Use your starship to fly to the station and learn. Okay, we're on our way. I'll see you there in a minute. Okay, well, we've arrived at Kated. You know, we've read the patch notes. So we've got, we know the basics of this. There's no sort of NPCs in here. Or anything that's really going to help me overly too much. I mean, there's going to be a galactic trade terminal. But, uh... Oh, my days. What the fudge is this? Kzzzt. The station's automatic repeater beacon broadcasts a sharp burst of static. Powerful enough to automatically engage my starship's communicator. I wait for a follow-up message, but there is nothing but silence. The airwaves. Dead. Sinister, but I like it. Disconnect the communicator. Kzzzt. Station repeats goodbye. What the fudge? And it says welcome home on the, my console dash there. And it actually says discovered by Hello Games. So I don't know why it mentioned another person's name earlier. Okay, right. Well, I don't think I've got a, a, an awful lot to sell. I mean, I could sell the cursed dust, but I don't know whether I need it as yet. Let's go and have a look at the Galactic Trade Terminal in here and see if there's anything worth buying. I mean, it, it sent me to the station for some reason, I, I'd imagine. Oh, I've got a badge to actually accept, haven't I? Well, it says visit the starship. Seek help at the space station. What sort of help am I hoping to get? Oh, there we go. That took a while to pop, didn't it? Right, well, here's my Galactic Trade Terminal. Let's uh, interact with that then. Okay, all right. Data missing. Wiring looms. They're expensive. There's a lot of expensive stuff in here. Suspicious packets could do with that. 
Oh, my days. If only I could get to the Nexus to claim all the stuff that I've brought with me. Cursed dust. Hmm. I could sell loads of cursed dust. Maybe I should have got more cursed dust while I was on the planet. Mm, you don't get much for it. You get some, but not not a great deal. This is freaking weird, people. This is very weird. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go claim the badge anyway. Hyperdrive plans! Oh, great. Looks like I'm going to have to go back to a planet, maybe. Microprocessor. I didn't see a microprocessor for sale inside of this thing. No. It means I'm going to have to craft one. Dang it! Okay, sometimes you can find them in, like, tubs and stuff, but... Yeah, I haven't gotten Atlas past level one. Yeah, Atlas past level three for that door. All right, let's just go and have a look at the opposite side of this station. Let's have a look and see if there's... Because normally there's a teleporter in here. Not that I don't think it's going to be do us any good whatsoever. It's not like we've got a base computer. We can't put down a base yet or anything. This is a very strange expedition, but I'm, I'm liking it. It's a new way of playing in a roundabout way. I've been doing a little showcase of a, a way of playing, like it's light note. Oh, God, the, the, the teleporter looks broken here. You can still interact with it. Hold on. How the fudge has somebody built that? OK, um, is that in this system? Looks like someone's put down a base already, people. I mean, I might have to go back to the base anyway. Let's just have a quick look-see at what we've got here. Warp to a new system. Destroy asteroids. Okay, well, I can go and destroy the asteroids quickly, can't I? Let's go do that. Let's go destroy some asteroids. And uh, I'm going to have to make the stuff to actually uh, input this warp engine... Um, is there two squares? There's not two next to each other. Well, there kind of is. I can move that there. Move that there. Move that there. And if I install my warp drive there, it's going to get a bit of a boost. But yeah, need those. Chromatic metal. Right, go into the LDX suit. Into here. And if I get the copper, that should spin into the chromatic metal. I don't know whether I'm going to have enough, though, for what I need. How much did I need? Oh, I need 125. I'm going to have enough for that. But then I need to craft the microprocessors. And to make those, I need carbon nanotubes. Fudging heck! Well, there's hardly any carbon on that planet. Well, we can look to see if any of the other neighbouring planets have got carbon, can't we? that will be an idea. No, don't land on the same planet again, Steve. Land on one that's got carbon. That's a plan. Let's go do that then. Let's go shoot some asteroids and find a planet that's got carbon. Hooray and hurrah! We'll shoot some roids. Meow! Zoom. Well, there's a load of asteroids right here, which is quite handy and dandy, isn't it? Let's get a shooting. I mean, technically, I could have warped to that base, couldn't I? What was that? Was that a little space jellyfish that just popped out of there? I think it was. Anyway, how many asteroids do I need to shoot? 40 of them. All right, fine. Well, we're getting loads of tritium. Not that I need it now. But, um, lovely. Hopefully we can find a planet that's got carbon. There's some more space jellyfish. Take that, jellyfish. You're on 26 now. Nearly there. I think that's space jellyfish. I don't think you can kill them. I don't know, actually. Okay, we've got a fair few more of these to shoot. Oh, we've got an anomaly detector. Brilliant. Oh, dear. Weapons are overheated. There's the 40. Right, what are we going to get for that then? Expedition, pop that badge. Boom. Warp cell times free. Starship infantry slots times free. Can I install those now? I can, but do I want to save them? I think I want to save them until for when I get my next ship, really. I mean, if I did, I'd put them up here. Because all this is busted to heck, isn't it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep them. 
hopefully that's given me them so i can inst yes there they are there when we get a proper starship then I'd, I'd use them then okay right um right we need to find a planet that's now got carbon don't we that's got gamma root activated copper uranium we did have a marker on another planet didn't we where's that then now oh, where's it bloody gone right well um I'll find my marker, people. We'll see what the planet that is. Oh, you know what? I think it's actually on this uh, ringed planet that we just looked at, the Gamma Root one. Um, well, we go to the ancient ruin on it. Might as well clear off this marker. Might as well visit the ancient ruin while we're there, eh? Um, you know what? Once I actually enter into the planet's atmosphere, what I'm thinking of doing is shooting the planet to get a load of resources for free using my starship. Yeah, uh, sneaky. There we go. Fly on down. And we'll take a slow flyover while shooting the planet and see if we can get ourselves a load of carbon. There we go. Got a bit of carbon. Get us some ferrite dust. Whoops, overheated. Let's fire the missile down there. There we go. Get a load of free resources doing this. Well, if, you, if you watch your lasers, that is, anyway. You don't really want to keep overheating the dang things. Yeah, I'm just going to take a slow flyover to this um, location by shooting the heck out of the planet. Saves me using my mining laser, you know. If you are to use your missiles, fire a little way in front of you. Because, uh, yeah, sometimes you can shoot yourself. Just going to tap the button as soon as I start seeing them heating up. Well, there's a nice little tip for you there. Get yourself a load of resources. Okay, well, I've arrived, Katie, at this uh, relic site. Nice. Sweet. Let's go by Hello Games. And there should be some knowledge stones on this thing, maybe. Yep, there's one. Oh, Corvac's planet. Okay, fine. Sweet, we've learnt one Corvax word. Is there anything else here? Is that it? Is that freaking it, mate? You're having a laugh, aren't you? Oh, look, there's some birds. Okay, cool. There's a big crab creature. Sweet. Okay, is there anything on top of the roof of this dang thing? Just one knowledge stone. Ah, oh, no, look, there is a plaque thing down here. Aha, another knowledge stone there. In this one, I'm going to ask for things of the past, I think. I think I just saw a butterfly winged creature that I could tame and use as a flying mount, which would be quite useful. There you go, found some historical data. We can go over there, dig up a chest, and that'll get us a load of nanite, well, a load of units anyway, if we do go over there. I did see a, a flutterby. I did see a butterfly out the corner of my eye. Where's he gone? There they are, look. They're out at sea. I'm gonna to struggle to tame one of them. Can I um can I craft some sticks? I can. Okay, let's see if I can um tempt one over. Oh no, they've all disappeared, they're all despawning. I'll have to find some more, but in land, I guess. That's a shame. Could have had one of them as a pet people. That'd have been lovely. What have we got over here? We've got some weird cow creatures. Not very interested in taming one of them. Okay, right. So why did I come down to this planet? Oh yeah, to fix my warp drive. Yeah, I need chromatic metal. And I need to craft myself a load of um, microprocessors, which I need carbon nanotubes. How many carbon nanotubes can I create? Just the one, apparently. Okay, fine. And I need the... Mm, okay, great. So let's get into my exosuit, into here. 
Let's see how much I've got. 145. Nice. Starship. So I can actually manage to put that in. But now I need to make the microprocessors. And you can see there, I've only got enough for one of those, even though I shot the heck out of the planet for ages. Okay. Right, so we need to find things that are going to give me carbon. What are you? That's a mineral. Great. Right, let's take to the sky then. And I think I'll just shoot the planet a bit more. And hopefully get a load of carbon this way. Give me, give me carbon. Give me, give me carbon. I want carbon, yes! Ah, there's a load of carbon there. Oh, dang it. This ship sort of glides, doesn't it? See those purple plants? That's carbon. Ouch! Got ten carbons. Aha! There's some of those butterflies that I want. Hello, butterflies! Come here, you! You will be mine! Ah! Fudging heck! Oh, dang it! I fell in a hole! Come here. I want to freaking adopt you. There we go. We've got one. Great. This planet's got bloody storms, hasn't it? Okay, right. Well, there's some carbon right there. Let's just grab a load of carbon while we're out of our ship. At least I've got a flying creature now. Nice. Well, we should be able to make carbon in no time now, people. Well, carbon nanotubes in no time. Let's get it back in our ship, because, uh, yeah, we're getting baked a little bit, aren't we? We'll wait till the storm's over, people. Okay, chums, I'm heading towards an activated copper deposit, and that should spin into chromatic metal. I need a heck of a lot more chromatic metal than what I've got. And um, I also ran out of carbon to shoot where I was. I think I might have enough to make one more. There we go, we've got enough there. Brilliant. Now I need to mine all this activated copper out of the ground. Train manipulator. Make the beam nice and small, and here we go. Sweet. Right, I'm going to mine this out of the ground, then I'll reconvene with you people. Whew, well, it looks like the storm's over now. I've just grabbed everything that I needed, so back to my exosuit. I've still got a bit of charge in there, and I want to grab all of that activated copper that I just got, which is a shed load of it. Stick that in there. And we're going to spin that into chromatic metal. That's going to take us two minutes. So I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, well, I'm just going to take this out of there for now and see if I can start making any of these. Um... Oh, I can start making some. Okay. Can I make five? I can make five. Brilliant. Okay. We can get that fixed then, can't we? Sweet. And we can stick that in there as well. Brill. It looks like I'm going to complete phase one, but before I do my warp jump, I'm just going to go to this ancient ruin site and I'm going to get the uh, treasure from it because I can sell that and get a load of units. They might come in handy for something, might they? Let's touch down here. Let's have a quick look. Cool. There we go. So there's three keys to dig up here. I'm going to go dig these up. I mean, you might not get... A relic site like I did you know I, I might have just been lucky so yeah I'll go dig, dig up this chest I'll show you what I get in the chest anyway you need three of these keys to open a chest here we go here's the big chest and I've got my three keys so pop pop and unlock let's see what I get please be a gold one I ah, know we just got the most common but it still sells for quite a lot so there we go that's not too bad is it now, there are some Gravitino balls here, but if I pick them up, I'm fairly sure Sentinels are going to get angry at me. Right, well, let's take to the sky then. Let's get out of here. Well, let's do that warp jump, and then I think it's phase one completed. Now, there is seven weeks on this, so... Strange. Let's go this way then. Can I do a double jump? I can. Brilliant. That's going to take us to the rendezvous location. I'm probably going to pop inside of the station before I go to the rendezvous station and uh, just sell that treasure that I just picked up. 
Well, because I've warped, I think I'm going to pop a badge, though, first. There we go. Let's see if we get the badge pop up. Yes! Heck yes! Lovely. I'm just going to... Oh, okay. It's pointing me there. I'm just going to go to the station very quickly and go and offload whatever I just got. That's That, that treasures. But, let's go into the old log. And let's pop that badge, shall we? I'm going to get a packet of seeds, base computer plans, and um, planetary charts. Okay, cool. So that planetary chart, I think, will give you another relic site that you can go to. Okay. You're given a load of blueprints. Fantasticals. I guess. Okay, well, let's see how much I get for that treasure that I just got then, people. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Where are you, treasure? There we go. I'm going to sell that. Get myself some units. Nice. Now I'm going to go to the rendezvous point. Okay, chums, just something worth noting. In the top corner over there, it tells you the galaxy name. This is actually Euclid. Now, I think Eudelatai, though, used to show his Euclid, but I'm just wondering how Hello Games have done this and dropped us into this sort of strangely programmed world. I'm hoping that they can do something similar if they do want to add in the Void or Realm of Glass. Anyway, here we go. Rendezvous 1. It doesn't say approximate location. Just says rendezvous one. Is it going to take us straight there rather than us having to gallivant around? I hope that's the case. Then again, saying that, there is a building over there. No, that is approximate location, isn't it? Right, well, has this got a landing pad that I can utilise so I don't have to use my launch thruster fuel? Yes, it does. Cool. Well, I'm going to set down here and then head on over to the rendezvous point. But I'm just going to run around this building and see if there's anything that I can loot. Okay, let's have a look, see. Wow, okay. Uh, we'd have that. Thank you. Galactic trade tower and all. Can I buy some launch thruster fuel? I can. I'll have that then. I'll get two of them. There we are. What else can I. What else is worth me buying? I, I could do with some life support gel. Okay, well. I can only really buy those. That's, that's the only thing that's really helpful to me right now. Okay. Can I make some life support gel? I mean, I've got four on me. Hmm. I might be alright, actually, now. Can I make one more? There we are. Got five. Okay. Uh, we're probably going to need some more warp fuel, but I can worry about that later, can't I? What the fudge is in here? Ow! Fudging git! Okay. Take that, you! You git bag! Cool. Got oxygen from killing him. Okay. What's in these boxes? Loot him and loot loot! Nice. Okay. Cool. And there's no console in here. There's no... There's no nothing for me to hit up. There's no, um, there's no multi-tool or anything. Okay. All right. Right. How far away we got to go? 1,000 years that way. Great. Okay. I guess we're going there then. Oh, cool. This, this planet's got honey all over it. And flying creatures. See, there, there's honey there. You get honey out of these things. As well as carbon. Should get sticky honey anyway. There we go. If I eat the sticky honey, does it does it do anything? Life support power. It tops up my life support. Oh, that's handy. That's good. Alright, cool. Well, anyway, I'll head towards the rendezvous point. Okay, there is a little save beacon here, which is going to give me nav data. Now, we haven't come across a cartographer, so it's probably not going to ever do me any favours. There's also some damaged machinery over here too, so let's go hit that up quickly. Sometimes you can get rusted metal off the front of these. Living slime, alright, fine. And what have I got in here? Sometimes you can get technology. This time I just got some nanites, but, you know, nanites are still good. Right, still got 900 used to go this way. Okay, chums, well... It's looking like this might be the rendezvous point that I'm heading towards. I'm just sliding down a rock face at the moment. But normally rendezvous points are really interesting places. This doesn't feel that interesting. Okay, well, there's a load of comms balls here. 
And this looks like I'm in the right place. Okay, right. Well, I might as well use one of my nav datas to call my ship to here. Sweet. I might as well hit up this for a save. There we are. And, uh, yeah, claim this. Cool. We've got the exosuit areas. Yeah, go for that. Sweet. And might as well claim the phase one rewards. Stealth paint. Customization poster set. Brilliant, eh? I guess. Might as well jump in my ship. And out of my ship. Create a save. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, well that's 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 pretty much that one done then. That's phase one done, people. I guess. Awesome and fantastical. I know, right? Okay, cool. So um yeah, that, that's um that's kind of it, I guess. Yep. So I'll be doing phase two next episode, people. And uh yeah, I haven't looked ahead to see what's inside of there, but I probably am in my own time, people, to see if there's a good way of doing things or maybe even doing a couple of things at once. But there we go. Phase one, done diddly and dusted. Till next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. I like my tea. An English breakfast tea, but it's not just any brew, it's the captain's all seven brew. What brew? Captain Steve's all seven brew. Ooh, seven, heaven. It's a breakfast tea with no keynotes, all seven your boat. This tea is the best, better than the rest. Go buy some, heck,